Okay, happy Thursday. We're doing our Pilates weights class, but it's a slightly different workout today. As I say, it's very much pure Pilates based, and we're going to work a lot on scapular control because a lot of people are struggling with their neck. So it's very much about doing everything, controlling the scapula, pulling them down and back, and not just squeezing them back. So everything's quite controlled. If you've got heavy weights, that might be too much. I'm using my wrist weights if you've got some nice light weights. But as always, we'll also do everything with it. So standing up nice and tall, let's roll the shoulders. Starting with our warm up. That's it, breathing out. Start your watches if you need. So if you've got your weights, you're gonna grab them just now. If you've got your wrist weights, you can put them on. We're gonna start, we're not doing a whole long warm up. Everything we're doing is quite slow and controlled. So grabbing your light weights, half a kilogram, one kilogram. You can use your two and a half mil if you want for these, but see how you go. All right, so standing up nice and tall to start with a warm up. We're gonna breathe in, shrug your shoulders up to your ears and breathe out. Slide those shoulder blades down and back. Think of trying to touch the floor, but without sinking. So you're pulling your belly button in, lifting your chest, we're shrugging up, and then shrugging down, slide those shoulders down and back, reach for the ground, so it's really active, you're not just hanging here. Good, let's go again, so we shrug up, and breathing out. You want to touch the floor, so we're really activating almost here in our back. Okay, let's go for two more, breathing in. And out, don't forget about your pelvic floor, your tummy, slide those arms down and back. Breathing in, arms up, and breathing out. So when you're activating sliding down, I'm always working here. You wanna make sure you're not just squeezing those shoulders back, you wanna slide them down to a point here in your back. So holding that tension down, tummy pulled in, lift your chest, slide those arms down. Keep the scapula there, and we're going to lift those arms up in front of you and coming down. The temptation when you're doing this is to lift the shoulder blades with you, but you always want to fight and pull that shoulder blade down as you lift your arms. So slide them down, breathing in and out. If this feels too easy, you're not doing it right. So you really should be working so hard with those shoulder blades to fight that urge to let them come up. It's hard work, we're going for five more. Tummy pulled in, breathing in and out. Shoulder blades pulled down the whole time. Tummy pulled in, keep working here, keep pulling those shoulders down. It's kind of like a constant battle between lifting your arm and pulling this arch shoulder blade down. We got two more. Tummy pulled in. Keep squeezing those shoulder blades together to a point here. Last one, breathing in and breathing out. Very nice, all right. For those who don't wanna do this, just come down onto the mat. Otherwise, cross your arms over your chest. This requires quite a large amount of movement. We're gonna come down to our mat, cross your arms over, shoulders down and back, tummy in. You're gonna squat right down all the way. Take your bottom very slowly onto the mat and rolling it down. It's just a different way of getting down onto the floor with a bit of control. Right, staying on your back. Now we're going to take that same action that we've just done. Arms up to the ceiling, palms facing each other. Let me go a little bit closer to you so you can see me. Okay, so palms facing each other. Now in this position, I want you to tilt your pelvis Pull your belly button in so your low back is glued to the floor. So the whole time we're keeping this connection. Arms up. Now you're going to reach those arms to the ceiling, protract those shoulder blades, and then squeeze and drop them down into the mat. So this is like when we do it on all fours, slide those shoulder blades up, try and touch the ceiling. It's a small movement. And down. So I'm basically doing this action with my shoulder blades, but we're in line. Tummy pulled in, we're going for five more. Breathing in, breathing out. Make sure your abs stay connected. Squeeze those shoulder blades around your rib cage. Think of working here. And down, squeeze them back to the floor. 
tummy pulled in. Make sure you're not hunching your shoulders up towards your ears. You're really trying to pull them down to your sacrum. We've got two more. Reach for the ceiling. And down. Last one. Reaching up. Now hold that connection. Tummy's in. Reaching up to the ceiling so the shoulders are retracted. Now we're going to take those arms back behind you towards the floor. But slide those shoulders away from your ears. And breathing out to come up. So as you slide that arm up, you want to think pulling your shoulder blade away from you. Tummy pull then. Don't let your back leave the floor. You can hold your light weights. Breathing in. Shoulder blades slide down. Keep that shoulders wrapped around the rib cage. Try and touch the ceiling. Breathing in. And out. Every muscle should be working. You're not just relaxing your arms and flinging them down. You're reaching to the ceiling. Shoulders down. Tummy pulled in. Breathing in. We've got two more. Nice one. And last one. Breathing in. Reach for the ceiling. Very nice. Now holding those arms up here. Reach towards the ceiling. Tummy pulled in. We're going to rotate palms to the ceiling behind the wall behind us and palms to our thighs. Rotate. Now remember, don't just relax the shoulder blades. They're wrapping around the rib cage towards the ceiling. Tummy pull in. Let's go for five. Four. Breathing out. Three. Nice work. Really rotate. Two. One. Very nice. Relax your arms down for a second, have a break. From here, we're going to lift those hips up. Tummy pull, then push through your heels. We're going to take those arms back, but now this stay solid. Tilt that pelvis, tummy in, squeeze through the bum. Arms up, shoulders reaching for the ceiling. We're going to take opposite arm down and the other one back. And breathing in, breathing out. Now, as you do this, that shoulder girdle stays dead still. You're keeping those shoulder blades down towards your sacrum. So every muscle in that arm is reaching to the ceiling. Breathing in and out. Push through your heels. Tummy pull in. As you stretch those arms towards the ceiling, you're working these muscles here. Your serratus anterior, your lower back muscles. I mean, your lower thoracic spine. Reach it, squeeze. That's it, making sure your shoulders aren't hunching. Perfect. Push through your heels. You've got two more. Nice. One. Lower the hips, hold the arms here. Reach towards the ceiling. Palms facing each other. You're going to take the hands back towards the floor, tummy pulled in. Turn your palms to the ceiling. Take a little circle all the way around. You might find the two and a half kilograms too heavy for this. Breathing in, lift them back. Palms facing each other, slide those shoulders away from you so you're activating those shoulder blades the whole time. Palms up to the ceiling. Circle, don't have your hands directly on the floor. They're about five centimeters off. Palms back, palms together. Tummy pulled in, your low back is glued to the floor. We're activating those abs, shoulder blades pulling down to that sacrum. We've got five more, my arms are burning. Palms to each other, thumbs to the floor. Slide the shoulder blades down the back, palms up. Reaching around. That's it. We've got four more. Want to squeeze the bottom, squeeze the tummy. Pulling those shoulder blades down and back the whole time. Nice work. Three more. So we're going here. That's it. Making sure, even in line, that you're not hunching those shoulders. Tummy pulled in, breathing in. Rotate. Sliding those arms about five centimeters off the floor. You've got two more. Very nice. Control. Arms are dead straight. 
beautiful. Last one, breathing in. And out, nice, very good. Keep your arms by your side. Put your hands on the floor on your weights. Now in this position, you wanna think of sliding your hands along the floor as far away from you as you can. So you wanna try and touch those toes but the whole shoulder blade stays on the floor. And push your hands down into the floor. So we're lengthening them away and we're pushing down. Keep them active. Lift one leg up into tabletop, other leg into tabletop. So don't forget about the arms. They're not just active there, they're sliding down, pushing down, tummy pulled in. We're gonna stretch both legs away and back. If you want to, you can lift your head up, push the arms down, breathing out. If your neck gets uncomfortable, put it back down. Stretch, double leg stretch, push those hands into the floor. Breathing in and out. Still lengthen, try and reach the end of your mat with your toes. That's it, so you should feel your triceps. For five. Tummy pulled in. Back doesn't leave the floor. Four. If you feel in your back, you lift your legs a little higher. Three, perfect form. Push those arms, slide them, push into the floor. Two. And one. Place your feet on the floor, slide your legs away from your arms above your head. You can keep your weights, or if you've got your wrist weights, we're gonna do roll-ups with the weights. So squeeze your inner thighs together, tummy pull in. We're gonna breathe in, arms and head up. And now with your arms, think of the muscles we've just worked. Try and touch the ceiling with your shoulders. Breathing out. Curling up the whole way and reaching forward. That's it. Sitting up nice and tall, slide those shoulders down and back. The focus is these muscles. And curl down, tummy pulled in, curling down all the way. Tuck your back, that's a beautiful. Nice, we've got three more. Breathing in, arms and head up. Reach those shoulder blades around, protraction, breathing out. So you want to try and touch the ceiling when you lift your arms up and stretch. Sitting up nice and tall, slide those shoulders down, feel it here, and curl. Tuck your pelvis towards your nose, tummy pull in. Beautiful. Two more, breathing in, breathing out. Touch the ceiling with your hands. Reaching forward and stretch. Sitting up tall, slide those down and curling down. Pull that tummy and look at your belly button. Take the arms with you. Nice, last one, breathing in and out. Reach forward, stretch. Up nice and tall, slide those shoulders, lift your chest and curl down one good breath at a time. Beautiful. All right, coming up into sitting, we're gonna start here. From here, we're gonna go into a half roll back and do a little bicep curl. You can use your weights, but we're gonna do three bicep and come up. I'm gonna show you the little routine. So, to start with, we're sitting up nice and tall. You're gonna push your hands, your arms, into your knees. So I'm pushing down, and by pushing down, here, with my arm onto my leg, I'm activating this muscle here. So you wanna push down, tummy pulled in. Then keep this tension here and lift the arms off the knees. So you've still got that tension. We're gonna do a half roll back, start at the pelvis, curl that sacrum to your nose. Hold it here, bicep curl, hands to head, one. Tummy pulled in, two, we're going for three, three, Coming back up, rest the hands on your thighs. If this hurts your back, you can just do the bicep curls in this position. You can stay with your hand, your arms on your knees, push down, and you can do the bicep curl here. So if you have any back issues, that's the alternative, okay? Let's go, we're gonna do four sets of those. Shoulders down and back, push those arms into the knees, lift them off, keep that tension from here. Curling down. Breathing out, one, 
Tummy pulled in. Three. Rolling up and rest the arms on your legs. Have a little break in between. Push down. Lift the arms. Roll back from the pelvis. Half roll back. One. Three. You want to keep those arms up. They must be shoulder height. So when you go back, if the weight's too heavy, your arms will drop here. I want your arms up here. Okay, so it might just be a bit too much. You can use one, baby. Now hold one weight. And then you can do it together. Okay. Push down on those legs. Lift the arms. Roll back. We've got two more. Breathing out. Tummy in. That's it. If your weights are too heavy, hold one weight. You want to keep those arms up. And curling up. Relax the arms for a second. Right. Push down. Lift the arms. Keep that tension in the rest of the spine. Breathing out. Tummy pull in. Two. Three. Breathing out. Coming up. We've got one more. Let's go. Shoulders down and back. Lift the arms. Breathing out. Roll back. Last three. Tuck that pelvis. One. Three. And curl all the way down to the floor. Very nice. Right, hands on the floor, roll the weights away from you. I want you to keep your shoulders activated. Try and think of touching your toes. You're going to lift your one leg up. We're going to do single leg circles. So if in this position you can't keep your knee straight, I want you to bend it and use your knee as the guide. So have your other leg straight, bend your knee. If you can, straighten it. You're going to think of writing circles on the ceiling with your toe or with your knee. And when you're doing this, you want to keep your opposite hip flat. So the temptation is to roll towards that leg. You're going to breathe in, breathe out. Really activate that core. Keep both hip bones absolutely flat on the floor. That's it. We're going to go eight circles one way, eight the other. So if I was standing, you want to make sure the hips don't roll. So we're going tummy pulled in. That's it. You want to make sure you don't get that rotation in the pelvis. Very good. Scooping in those abs. Going the other way. Tummy in. Remember to breathe. Two. One. And slide that leg down. Let's change legs. Hands on the floor, reaching for your toes. So you're activating that shoulder blade. Either knee bent or straight. Let's go. Eight circles one way. Breathe in, breathe out. Work this opposite TA. Make sure your hips don't roll. Tuck your chin in. Try and think of flattening your ribs. Three more. And change sides. Breathing in, go the other way. If you're doing with your knee the same thing. Beautiful. Really work the core. Keep it slow and controlled. It's a small circle. One, and relax it down. Well done. Hug those knees into your chest. Rock side to side. Very nice. Have a sip of water if you need. Halfway point. 18 minutes, 30 seconds. Okay, we're going to stay. We're going to do a little roll like a ball just to loosen off the back. With this, you can actually do it with your weights. You're going to put your weights on your hands on your knees, and normally I tell you not to hold your knees, but you're going to hold your knees for this. Just breathing out. Try and keep tucked like a ball. You want to keep that distance between your knees and your head, and just rolling back. You can hold your weights here. One more. And back. Very nice. All right. Stay lying on your back. You're going to take the arms up to the ceiling, reach those shoulders, so you're trying to touch the ceiling. So you're sliding that shoulder blade forward on your rib cage. Breathing out, one leg in tabletop, other leg in tabletop. Reaching forward. If you're holding the weights, hold your weights. I've got mine on my wrists. Right, from here, breathing in. From here, we're going to stretch the legs out. As you stretch the legs out, we're going to crunch. Keep the arms there. We're going to crunch. And 
and back. Drop the head down. Keep reaching forward. Don't relax those arms. If it's too much going with both legs, you go with a single leg stretch. We can reach one leg out and back. Tummy pull, then breathing out as you lift. So if you feel your back, do a single leg stretch. We've got five. Reach those arms. Don't forget your arms. Reach to the ceiling. Wrap those shoulder blades around your ribcage. That's it. Keep those hands up to the ceiling. Three more. Squeeze. Beautiful. Two. That's it. Last one. Reach for the ceiling. And relax it down. Well done. Come up into stand. You're going to completely mix it up a little bit. Now you can grab your weights. <coughs> just grab some. Okay, so we're going to stay standing. We're going to do everything on the one side and then everything on the other side. So to start with, we're going to do a standing toe touch just with one weight. You're going to stand on your right leg. Have your left leg just by your side. Don't have it up in front of you. Just relax it here. Shoulders down and back, reaching up. Now remember everything we've done with that shoulder blade. Use it now. So now don't hunch the shoulders. Slide them down. We're going to go for 10, not standing on the squeaky floorboard. Sticking your bottom out, trying to keep your back straight. 10, touching down and up. As you breathe out, you bend down. You want to hinge at the hip. Now when I come up, don't Punch that shoulder, slide it down, activate here. That's it. Keep your back flat if you can, tummy pulled in. If you can't reach the floor, you can go to here. Nice. Breathing out. We got three more, tummy pulled in. Then we're going to take our arms out to the side, put the weight down. Two. It's easier with the wrist weight. So if you've got very light weights, you can hold the weights. So if you've got nice light weights, you can keep holding them. We're going to take our arms out to the side. These are too heavy for me to hold. I've got my wrist. So from here, stay in In a capital T position, shoulders down and back. Bend and straighten that standing leg. That's it. Make sure this knee stays facing forward. Don't let it wobble. We're going for 10. Nice. Shoulders down. Tummy pulled it away from the floor. Four more. Three. Two. Woo. One. And stepping back into that nice long lunge. Grabbing your weights if you put them down. We're going to go for our rows. Bending forward, slide those shoulders. Arms down, we're going to row for 10. 9, tummy pulled in. 8, squeeze those shoulder blades. 7, 6, 5, push through that front heel. 3, 2, 1, place the weights down if you're holding them. If they're on your wrist, keep them there. Step your leg forward. We're now in a little squat. Bend your knees. Stick your bum out. Weight goes through your heels. Shoulders down and back. We're going to take our thumbs up to the ceiling. And push back. Remember everything we've just done about those shoulder blades. So as you lift your arms up, they slide down your back. You're pushing, pulling that belly button in. Let's go for eight. Seven, try and lean forward. Send those hips back. Six, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Nice. Five, perfect posture. Lift your chest a little bit. Three. Two. One. And just rolling it down to the floor, stretching out your back. Pick up those legs. And on a breath out, curling up one vertebra at a time. Very nice. We're going to change legs. So 
So we're going to stand on your left leg. Holding her weight, we're going to reach up, toe touch. Okay, so standing up nice and tall. Grow tall on that hip, don't sink. Tummy in, reach that arm up. Don't hunch, pull it down. You're going to send your hips back. Back stay straight if you can. Reaching down. And up, let's go for 10. Pulling that belly button in, you're really working this butt. Nice. Reach. Think of sending your hips back. You almost want to stick them out behind you. That's it. So your weight's not going forward. Your weight's going through your heel and you send your hips behind you. That's it. You'll feel your butt activate more and less strain on your back. Let's go for three more. <sighs> Breathing out. My balance is terrible on the side. Two. Need to do more standing work. One. Stepping back into that long lunge. Grab your weights. So in this position, your weight is through your heel on your front leg. Back leg in line with your body. Slide those shoulders back. Tummy pulled in. Let's go for our rows. Breathing out. Scooping in those abs. Lift your chest. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. For five, lift your chest, Mel. That's better. Otherwise, you end up leaning a bit forward. Tummy pulled in. Three. Two. One. Stepping the feet together, placing the weights down. We're going back into that same exercise. Bend your knees. Send your hips back. Shoulders down and back. Let's go. Make a Y. And push. Tummy pulled in. For two. Squeeze. Three. Think of sliding that shoulder down and back as you move. Nice. Five. Tummy pull in. Four. Three. Two. One. And relax. Well done. All right. Grab a sip of water. We're going to come and lie on your side. You're going to keep one weight. Very good. Bye, Bob. Okay. Coming to lie on your side. Grab your weight. You're going to have your arm on your side. Your legs are out in one line. Have that arm on the length of your body. Support your head. From here, you're going to slide that arm away from you. So reaching down as far on your body as you can, holding the weight. And we're going to lift up and down. So I want this arm active the whole time. You're literally trying to, trying to touch your toes with this weight, even though it's resting on the leg. Tummy pulled in. Breathing in. That's it. Let's go for five more. Squeeze that bum. Four. To keep your balance, you're really having to work your core. Three. Slide that leg further down. Two. One, hold the leg up there. Eight circles one way. Now, we really need to stabilize at the core. Normally, we have our underneath leg bent. Now it's straight, so it's a little bit harder to balance. Other side, eight. Seven, tummy in, six. Slide that arm down your side. One, very good, hold it there. Roll the hips slightly back. Breathing out, lift that underneath leg to touch. Two, four, lifting up, five, six, pull those abs in, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax it down. Well done. Stretching out that leg, bring it in front of you, and let's just open up those shoulders. You want to try and get those shoulders onto the floor. Knee stays down. That's a lovely switch. Very nice. All right, coming on to your other side. So you're going to grab your weight. Have your arm along your body. Rest your head on your arm. Slide that weight. 
slide that hand down as far as you can. So you're really shrugging it away from your shoulders. Tummy in and let's lift up and down. Breathing out as you lift. Make sure as you lift that the arm doesn't relax. You want to stretch it further. You really want to try and touch your feet the whole time. Squeeze. For five. Four. Pull your belly button in all the time. Three. One, hold it there. Eight circles one way. Tummy pulled in, lengthen the arm. Two, one, other way. Don't let that shoulder relax. Don't let it fall forward. Nice, hold it there. Roll those hips back, lifting up and down. Breathing out as you lift. That's it. Use your abs. Nice, four, five. Four, nice strong legs. Three, two, one. Bring that top leg in front of you, relax that weight down. Bring that top knee in front on the floor and open up those shoulders. And breathing out. Oh, nice click, click, click as I release. Very nice. All right. The last sort of proper exercise before we have a nice cool down. Have a sip of water. There's going to be two options to this exercise, and I'll show you. So the full exercise is we're going to start on your back. Arms up to the ceiling. You're going to have your left leg straight. Your left leg is in line with your knee. So from here, we're going to breathe out, come up. Straighten the other leg to join it. Curl down. Put your other leg down. So now I've got my right leg up. Breathing out. Into that. Nice. Up. So if you find this too hard, you just keep it there, rolling down and then change legs. You don't do the V, okay? So if your back is hurting, otherwise, again, if it's all too much, you do the sit-up. Okay, so those are your options. Either keep your one leg down, don't straighten both to join it, or you're gonna go for sit-ups. If that's too much, doing crunches. Right, we're gonna go for 10. So left leg up, shoulders down, reach for the ceiling. Let's go, breathing out. Leg to join it. Curl down, tucking under. Other leg down, so now I've got my right leg. Reach for the ceiling, breathing out. Join. Curling down. Other leg, alternate sides. So again, if you find it too much, lifting both legs, take it down. Mel, if you want to just do crunches. Okay, breathing out. Curling down. So if anyone doing the recording is struggling, just go for crunches. Breathing out, keeping your back down. That's it. Breathing out. Stretch, keep those abs engaged all the time. We've got three more. Tummy pulled in, rolling down. Place that foot. Nice, squeeze. Woo, lost my balance. And relax completely, well done. All right, hugging those knees into your chest. Nice, now we're gonna do a similar thing to roll like a ball. We haven't done this one before, but you're gonna hold your legs on the inside, so I'm kind of sitting like a froggy. Okay, so we're gonna do that. So we're gonna hold your feet here, and then roll back. A little awkward. Breathing out. If you find this too uncomfortable, just do a normal roll like a ball. Tummy pulled in. Don't let your feet touch the floor. It's quite a nice hip opener. For two more. One. Very nice. Lying down all the way, stretching your arms out, stretching your legs out. Very good. 
All right, from here, let's bend your knees. Have your knees nice and wide, your feet nice and wide. Arms up to ceiling, palms up, and let's roll those knees side to side. So I know today's class was slightly different. It's very focused on the thoracic spine and those shoulder blades. Such an important area, and I've just seen with my clients and my um, in person that no one's really getting that connection properly right. So it's worth doing a session working on it. That's it, very nice. Grabbing your left knee, pulling it into your chest, stretching that right leg out. Let's open that hip first and take it out away from the midline, stretching. Very nice. And bringing that leg, taking it over, trying to get it down to the floor and keeping your shoulders down at the same time. Breathing out, use that breath just to help you. And relaxing between. Nice, coming back, hug those knees into your chest. And change sides, keep your right knee, stretch your left leg out. And take that knee out, away from the midline, opening up those hips. Try and keep your hips facing upwards though. Don't let your body roll towards that knee. And I'll bring it across with the left hand, stretching your knee down to the floor. Keep those shoulders down. Nice. Very nice. Coming into child's pose, we're going to stretch out the shoulders as well. So coming into child's pose here. Have your feet together, knees open. Pushing the palms of your hands into the floor, stretching back. And I want you to almost like a knee, like a cat. Like push one hand in, stretching, twisting a little bit. Nice. Now from there, turn your palms up towards the ceiling. Stay in that stretch. Reach those arms towards the end of your mat, stretching. Nice, rotate your hands down and now walk your hands to your right side and push your body away from your right side to the left. Stretching. And when you do this, you'll feel a nice stretch all the way along here. Try and rotate those shoulders down towards the floor. Nice, walking those hands round to the other side. And pushing those palms into the floor, stretching to your right side. Drop that right shoulder down. I can feel a massive stretch all along here. Does everyone else feel it differently? Very nice. And coming up. Well done, guys. Thank you so much for joining. Slightly different, not as hectic a class, but I know you all do hectic exercise, so sometimes it's good just to center. All right, have a fabulous rest of your day. Thanks, guys.